So my name is Nikki. I don't know if you guys figured that out. Yet. Hey, Nikki. Um, Hi, Cora is being of honor and best friend. I met Cora when I was 12 years old, um, a whole 14 years ago. Don't love that. <laughs> um, so you all know that means that I have some pretty good dirt on her. But I'll chalk it up to a million adventures and good stories to leave this up to a beautiful moment with you here today. You're welcome. <laughs> So when I first met Javi, I looked at Cora and I said, holy shit, you met a match. <laughs> the way they banter is absolutely terrifying. <laughs> Completely in sync, like a high level game of ping pong. Every hit had the perfect return. What I really thought when I told her that was, it was game over. <laughs> you met your match. <laughs> Further confirmation, as Timmy just pointed out, was their first date in Central Park. <laughs> Snuggling and kissing all night, literally game over. It was like hearing about a romantic comedy. <laughs> Cora had found her perfect love story. When I think back to our middle school days, I think about how much time I love spending at Cora's house. It was filled with love, laughter, and grilled cheese sandwiches. <laughs> Her family made me feel like I was one of theirs. And what I remember the most is Cora radiating over her parents' love. <laughs> the way they looked at each other, the way they danced in the kitchen together, the way they laughed together, they were everything you could dream of. love. Unfortunately, Cora's father is no longer with us. So we honor his memory by celebrating a new love story, Cora and Johnny. So, if you would please, raise a glass to a lifetime of love. And if you know, every sticky note left around this house. <laughs> That's all her. Are you sure? Yeah. Cheers. Cora and Johnny. Thank you so much, Nikki. And now we'll pass the microphone over to the matriarchs. Give it up for Denise and Annie.